Hi, my name is Philippe Barnes and I'm an Altus Flutes artist. I specialise in Irish music and I'm here at Just Flutes today to demonstrate some of the different whistles available from the high D to the low D. Okay, so you might be looking at getting a whistle and uh, not really know where to start. So I'm going to try and show you a couple of the different options and explain uh, what you might want them for and, uh, and what they are. So starting with the standard thing that someone means when they say a tin whistle uh, is one like this. Um, it's in the key of D, but effectively that's the same as a concert flute in C because the bottom note only goes down to the D, whereas your silver flute, you'd have your C foot joint on it. Fingering's very simple, just got six holes, nothing on the back, so it's simpler than, than the recorder even. And we start D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp with nothing, or C natural is gonna be like that, or like that, or like that, depending on which maker's whistle it is. They all uh, differ slightly in how the, the tuning works for that. Your D whistle is what you usually play if you are going to an Irish music session and it's that uh, recognisable sound of the, of the tin whistle. Uh, this is a low D whistle, so this is the sort of thing that you'd hear on a lot of film soundtracks um, or albums when they're trying to get that real kind of haunting uh, haunting effect. In between the high D and the low D, um, the next most useful whistle to own would be a low F, because with a high D and low D, you've got access to the most common keys you'd need for Irish music, D major, G major, E minor, A minor, um, B minor. And if we take a F whistle, then that gives us access to some of those keys in between that are hard to get on an instrument with only the six holes. So uh, with an F whistle, you've got F major, B flat major, um, C, it's much easier to get to, to all of those. So you see it's um, perfectly happy going fast and also very nice going slowly. So in terms of actually playing these, you might notice that my fingers are uh, flat and I'm not using the tips of my fingers like you would uh, play the flute. It's partly with the bigger whistles, it's just so you can reach those things. If you look on the, on the low D, this is really awkward. So um, these two, are basically the, the um, tips of the fingers and the other ones are nice and flat across. It also makes it quite easy to slide. Um, and to do those feathering effects across the key. Uh, if I play the little one, it's closer to the tips, but it's still a kind of flat fingering. Allows you to um, do the ornaments much easier as well. <laughs> 